This morning we come together and in prayer as we do when we worship together. This is a moment to share our joys and concerns, our heartbreaks and our celebrations. It is a time when our emotions are high, when our spirits may have taken a dive. So we go to God in prayer. I invite you to share your joys and concerns in the comments below. It is our tradition in the church that as a prayer is received, spoken or written, that we will respond by saying, this is our prayer. So this morning, I pray for our world. for health, for safety, for safe choices, for science, for research, for our caretakers in hospitals and nursing homes and testing sites. for people who are cared for at home, for people who feel isolated, I pray for all of us that we may find ways to stay safe that we may protect ourselves and our families and our community that we may find sanctuary in places where we may not have expected. And I invite you as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day to rejoice in the creation around us, to rejoice that our earth is having a moment of Sabbath. I invite you to sit with me here by the water's edge and be in a silent prayer, even as the peepers and the frogs raise their voices. So, holy ones, let us join our voices, let us join in one voice the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, our Mother, our Creator in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.